But uh, nobody asked for us to do you know, a movie review, but we wanted to. No one's asked for you, of course, do it. This is something that I wanted to do a review, a uh, review video. Of course, yes. Yeah, yes, we all. And we brought this hoe. I don't think you know who this is. Introduce yourself. My name's Ricky. We used to have this guy. Uh, we did a media class. The TV production. Yes. There you go. Yeah. And was, we, was, we, we brought this guy in. We brought this guy in. Because I'm because cynical. I hate everything. I'm <laughs> no. super cynical. Okay, I was going to say your fascination of movies intrigues me, but still. Okay, My yes. fascination in movies is a, <laughs> it's a borderline Well, obsession. what's the weirdest thing you've ever liked? Oh, shit. I honestly don't know what is really? the weirdest thing I've ever liked. So Chandler here, which is his real name. He hates Black Panther. I heard, I heard Black, and I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> what did, what did exactly. they ask? Yeah, what did they? Well, ask? at first they asked for the ASMR, and then the mukbang, and then we stopped. Why would you ask for that? Why? Tell me why. Why? <laughs> <laughs> what do you get out of that? We wanted to do one, and then we were thinking, yeah, what the hell do we even watch? I think the original idea was we watched every film that was nominated for Best Picture, was, yeah. <laughs> and then we were like, "That's too many." That's, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of. Money. That was never gonna happen. And then we were like, "Okay, how about just Best uh, Picture in general?" Because we saw the Oscars recently, and mm -hmm. Parasite won. I was gonna actually win. like clinching hard for Parasite to win. Uh huh. Yeah, I, thought, yeah, I thought Hollywood was gonna take it. Yeah, yeah I, I really. I thought. Hollywood I didn't would think take that. Uh, Parasite would even win Best Picture. Yeah. But like because it did, I was so happy. I was extremely. I was happy. so yeah, I happy win. Was compared to last year, which wait. Concerning the lineup, who was won last year? I think was it Sound of Water or was it Green Book? Green, Green Book. Book. Green Book. Green Book. Green Book. Oh my God! It was like the the pure Oscar bait, where it was like you know <laughs> all the tackle bait. racism, but in a very like PC way, in a very yeah. like fun goofy way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just so happy with the uh, lineup this year that I didn't. It was, have, it was actually a really good I lineup. I didn't have yeah. like any like I want this. If film. any film won, I would have been like, okay, it makes sense. Yes, me too. So we're, we thought, okay, let's review Parasite. Mm -hmm. Then we were like, that's the kind of boy everybody's review Parasite. How about we review one of the best movies of the decade, but one of the worst movies of the decade, too? Yes. I don't know where you get worse from. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say worse. I'd say the first thought I, that came to my head was, oh, a Neil Breen movie. So if you guys don't know who Neil Breen, uh, uh, a, what, who Neil Breen God, is, it's boy. surprising how someone can like make a movie like that, as bad as like any of one of his movies. I'm sorry. Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. You know, I love I love his movies because when I see like really bad movies and I'm like, what's what's one good thing I can say about this? And I say like, oh hey, the camera was in focus. <laughs> okay, so we saw one of Neil Breen's best works. I am, I am here, here now. No, because it was I am here. Dot, 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 now. 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 Do you have to pause? Yeah, you have to pause. Yeah, have to pause. yeah because that's what the, uh, that's what the, uh, <laughs> the reaper period. <laughs> you motherfuckers better be online with that. So anytime you say the title, you gotta, you actually yeah, yeah. gotta do it. Yeah, well, so we decided to see that movie. So we're gonna review both. Now let's talk about the cinematic genius of this film. One thing I remember was when that the black dudes was being white. Oh my god. Let's talk about every little aspect about it, because every little aspect is- I amazing. love the baby heads. You imbecile. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> symbolism, dude! Oh my god, you don't realize there's symbolism in this movie? Oh, I, love the, I love the- I love the fake baby head. I, I, love I love the, the fake head beat. I love the mandingo. I love the head beat. Oh, oh yeah, okay, so the explain, the explain who you're talking about right the now. Mandingo. Explain the this, mandingo. Explain this character explain to the audience. Like, so this big buff- Black dude, and he's like a ball. What was he? A drug dealer or something like that? Maybe he was I don't know Christian. what he was. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're worldwide now. We'll kill anybody. We're worldwide. Now. We're worldwide now. Gets in our way. It's a worldwide. We're worldwide now. That voice doesn't match what you were supposed to be doing. What is going on? Yeah. All, he, he, all I knew is he had a he was nice in a gun. gang. He was, he okay, was yeah, let's say, let, let's say he was like, he was, he was like, let's say he was in the gang or Gang banger. So there's the opinion like this traitor in the group. He just beats the guy down, like, <laughs> kill, like, and then five goes, other guys. It goes on for an uncomfortable amount of time. It, oh! No. Ah. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Give it on the works. We're supposed to shoot like a brother! No. <laughs> kill him! <laughs> Why'd you say that to him? It's like Denzel, dude. Why'd you say that to him? That's oh my god. Like <laughs> what? It's out of focus. <laughs> 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 I 
He's like, cut, cut! But before he died, mm -hmm. he was saved. He was saved <laughs> last by Neil. By Cyber Monkey. Cyber Jesus. By Cyber Cy Monkey Neil. Cyber Green. Monkey Jesus? Cyber Monkey, Cyber Monkey, Monkey Jesus. Jesus. That's what he was. He, he, I mean, he, he looked like he... Okay, wait. Can someone... Can someone actually summarize the whole movie? Oh, what? shit. So, let me try. Okay. Oh, okay, right, let, right, me, right. let me Let oh, me try. Right. Okay. Right, so basically, it has no story, but... <laughs> but, but <laughs> you I, can't Neil, do that. Neil Green comes down and materializes. It starts off with a good B-roll. Starts off with a orb, I would say. You know, I love this like, it's like a giant crack pipe. <laughs> You're just going beat by beat. I want you to give me a, like a plot synopsis. 40%. Plot synopsis. Cyber Monkey Jesus is trying to give sense to the world. He's, he's, upset. he's upset and he wants set, he wants to bring sense to the world. Why is he upset? Because he believes the humans do not are not grateful for what he has given. Why are they not grateful? Because they keep killing and murderizing. Why do they keep killing? Because they they're just the they're Kareed. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Politics in the ball. Oh, yes. There was heavy greed. He like, hella corruption. They kept saying greed. They kept saying corruption. corruption. Yeah, they did. Collusion. Collusion. Were, you say, were you gonna say heavy greed themes? As if they were fucking subtle about it? I know, I was literally no no, I was no, you know what I was gonna say? I was gonna say there was heavy greed subtext. I was about to be like, oh hell no. There was a lot of <laughs> Yo, we, did we watch the same movie? <laughs> <laughs> it was, we I'm waiting all our debt. I'm waiting for the Oscar nom. I'm, I'm, because like he's obviously doing these movies himself. Yeah. There's so no the, okay, the the director, writer, caterer, Neil Breen. Neil Breen. Neil Breen. This guy. Um, it's not even a joke. He, not, actually, he actually is credited as the caterer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not unlike he gave him Bong Joon Ho, credit. the director of Parasite. Talk talk about a little bit about the m mystery of Neil Breen. Okay. So you say Bong Joon Ho. <laughs> yes. Okay. So he may have written Parasite. Uh huh. He may have directed Parasite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did he? Mm. Like, oh, See, that's wow. one more thing oh, that Neil Breen oh, does, oh, making wow. him the better director. How do you explain Neil Breen as a filmmaker? Fucking genius. <laughs> that's he's great. <laughs> he's one of those people where it's like, I mean, I mean it's not ironically, he's not good. I'm just surprised wow. that any time, right any, moment, comes in. any moment in filming, like there wasn't one actor or caterer that was just like, hey, I don't think you're doing this Maybe right. Maybe it's like one of those things where like, I don't know anything about this. Kind of oh, like they're them. an experience too. Yeah, because like, yeah, they they're, like, they, they're literally they they're old, they're old enough to like just be his friends. Honestly. Right. Yeah. yeah. Years. yeah. It's like, despite Except how bad it is, how like goofy it is, yeah. I respect the ambition of wanting to go out and make it. <laughs> it's never too like to check your dreams. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> never cut, too late. Cut, to, cut to footage that was made by Neil Breen. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> I get a first. What? <laughs> I like how the gun bounces. No! That's what a heavy piece of metal does. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I get the first. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is your favorite moment in I Am Here? How do I even fucking now? Yeah, I, think, I think my favorite scene was the scene where he cures the guy in the wheelchair. And oh, and he becomes makes him a young man. He becomes young. young. White pants. Trendy. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> Oh my god, it's the same guy! The it was the same guy with the gun! That's Russia, dude. God, dude. You had that haircut, dude. <laughs> you want the haircut? I know oh, you do. Sorry. Oh, no, 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 I got it, I got it. It was the one where all the mayhem went loose, and there were, uh, he shot, uh, he shot the guy that was already at, already at the neck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you mean this trash? He <laughs> said, you mean this trash? This piece of trash? <laughs> Definitely. Watch Parasite. If you don't watch this movie. No, 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 no. Watch the Neil Breen movie. Yes. 
Don't yes, do that. Definitely do that. Please no. Don't listen to him. Yeah, everybody's yeah, talking about parents. Listen, sure, you might get headaches and migraines. You might lose brain cells. You might have micro moralgia. But it'll, they'll come back. Just know that those no, are all side effects no, of the movie being way too much for you. Exactly. Going over your head. You just don't understand you it don't if that's the case. Get it. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. How, do you, how do you start Parasite? Um, Let's just say it's great I talk about, and it's great. Because I'm a bong, you know? As a director? Yeah, as a director. I kind of understand. He's like, so I, I was watching a video today where someone compiled like his symmetric like way of Yo, I saw that too. That's really for I was going to send it to one of you guys. He's like, like he's up and coming. They're like literally in the cinematography, there's like literal splits in like the characters for Parasite. And yeah. you can tell like the, the class separation. Because also, of, that came with my recommended. I'm like, it was like so that. interesting. It's, I love seeing like style or cinematography. Mm-hmm. His like, his direction in that movie se- seemed like so calculated mm-hmm. and so perfect. like, like he's so precise. Yeah, like he was yeah. everything he was, like, went the way about. he wanted to. Yeah, you can tell it's yeah. one of those movies. Like everything was executed perfectly. In yeah, the way he wanted it. Yeah, like it was a work of art. Yeah, it's absolutely. a rare movie absolutely. where I say like that was like perfect. I, mean, I I can't necessarily see flaws in Parasite. Yeah, unless you yeah. want to force trying to find unless you try to finesse it. you force it, if you watched it and were like extremely nitpicky. You probably find something well, like, I mean, it is a review show, mm-hmm. bitch. Yeah. So, okay, then go. Say something <laughs> I got nothing, man. This is such a good yeah, movie. Like, yeah. I figure, no, there's gotta be at least one thing. See, then, like, <laughs> it was in a different language, guys. Yeah, I don't, I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Chandler, what would you think if they dubbed Parasite? I fucking. <laughs> what would you do? What would you explain? I'd fucking kill someone. <laughs> yeah. Given the fact Once, that yeah. I had to read the whole movie, you know, yeah, other than that. You it know. makes you appreciate dialogue more. That's true, exactly. because you actually have to focus on when dialogue. I, yeah, yeah, I thought that scene was so cool when they were yeah. like, um, when the sister was trying to like remember so that she had like the little song. I thought that was cool. That was, yeah, that yeah, was kind of... Yeah. Yeah, that was like... And then, like, even though, you know, it was a joke in Korean, it still translated That's still well. something that like yeah. human beings would do. Yeah, yeah. 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 something like we, we would yeah. Please don't remake yeah. Parasite. Don't do that yeah, in America. No, dude, please don't, please don't. 911? Don't remake Parasite. A lot of for 911. That was more than 911. Hold on. 911? Don't Wait, remake that's, Parasite. That's yeah, I know, right? So you know, I think thing. the scene that stuck with me the most was, I think, when the, um, when the, the guy who was living in the bunker started, like, freaking out. He was, like, banging on the light. He was, like, praising the guy. I don't know. Mm. But the, um, the one scene that we near the ending where the father stabs. Mm. That whole oh, my God. I think, I think that was my favorite. Like, that, that, that that if you watch it frame by frame, you can see, like, the frame where you're, like, Snap. Yeah, you know, like that's the cool part about it. Like, yeah, li- literally, like it, it yeah, yeah. His, his realization kicks in. Yeah, yeah. it's so good. It's either yeah. that or just how they finesse the, like the whole thing. That was when I went. I love this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I feel like older people they probably just have like shorter. This is this is the time. To this it. is the time when like actual yeah. cinema hits the mainstream. Yeah, and like how the mainstream reacts to something yeah, like that's this. Yeah, that's what I've been thinking about. Do you think that we're gonna have a higher demand for more, more movies? Like I this? hope. I, first off, I hope a foreign cinema like gets more notice oh, yeah. because of this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I, after Old Boy, like I was like, oh, Korean cinema is great. Yeah, nobody like usually watches Korean cinema, and then. Parasite comes out, everybody's like, oh wow. That's only that's probably point. only because it got put on that high pedestal. Like it even got nominated for like the Oscars and shit. Mm-hmm. Did, yeah, did, well, that was that was exactly why, yeah. Did, yeah. did Old Boy get like nominated for something no. like that? No, no. See, but, that's that's probably what But it, but it had that. the same I feel like it's this about the same in terms of uh not in terms of anything tone wise, but just the public reception of the film, yeah. mm-hmm. where it was like a group, like a kind of mind blowing type of you know, Korean film. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like I think he, um Bong Joon Ho. I think he said something like, "Once you get the one foot barrier of a subtitle, you open yourself to a completely different world." Of mm-hmm. You know, yeah, it, it, he does say that. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, how much like good shit is out that's there. true because it's like if you watch other films that are in a different language, you will realize that there are more artists out there yeah. than here. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, for sure. It sucks people like it sucks to see people like box themselves in mm-hmm. to like you know. It's not like the bad American. It's great. Like you know, mm-hmm. there's a whole library out there, but. Doesn't mean there's not more. Yeah, you know. Uh, on the topic of the misleading of the trailers. Oh my god! I yeah. was one of those because I rarely ever watch trailers mm-hmm. or read synopses or anything. I went in that movie completely blind. Thing was a horror. Did you see? The, well, you saw the trailer. Yeah, I did. I saw the trailer too. Yeah, yeah. I saw the trailer. Too. I yeah, horror. I like. I got. I liked more what I got out of it. Though. You know, mm-hmm. I, re- like, I really didn't know what I was like when I seen the trailer. Like I thought it was gonna be like you know like a little like a little thriller situation, right? Yeah. But I, I didn't necessarily know that it was gonna be like it's gonna have that situation that like 
like story storyline. Yeah, it felt more time realistic again. than what I was expecting, honestly. Yeah, yeah I honestly yeah. felt because of the trailer, realistic. I was like, oh, some crazy shit's about to happen. The crazy shit did happen, but it's like it could actually happen. Yeah, yeah it's like it's like it's a real life. No, shit, that, no, the, no, the thing is, the shit is happening. The shit probably already is happening right now. Like, like it's believable. Yeah, it's like it's a believable situation. There's like that divide in there's divide so much, anyway. there's so many things too with the cinematography and like the fact that like. A lot of things in terms of like characters going up somewhere or down somewhere, really representing like this, uh, you know, the scales. Of, yeah. 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 The there's probably scales. there's probably a bunch of Easter eggs we just missed. There was one. Oh my God! There was one. Uh, it wasn't a necessarily a scene, but there were two shots in particular where it was like after. Remember the whole flooding thing that happened? Yeah. We're kind of getting into spoilers. Minor spoilers. So, fuck off. Yeah. Um, just fucking watch the movie already. <laughs> oh yeah, just there you go. Why you still listening <laughs> to us? Go watch the movie. But like, uh, there was one where like after the flood happened and they were all like in that gymnasium. It was like, oh, the the rich like uh, mom lady is like going through a closet looking at looking for all her clothes. Cut to like people trying to buy new clothes in that whole area. Yeah, I was so like, that on um, the I was like, wow. The flood scene was my favorite because mm-hmm. I went in because they you know they were they were in the nice house. It rained for them in the nice house, but everything was fine. And they had to escape to go back to their actual mm-hmm. home. Yeah. Everybody's everything's flooded. Everything people flooded to get out. Their stuff out. They have to go inside and get stuff that's important. That's like what it's, it's yeah. It's hard to say something that hasn't already been said. Yeah. Yeah. About it's, Parasite. Yeah. Just watch it. Watch it. And just watch please it. watch it. That's and don't it. expect a horror movie. Just go in and like blind. No expectations. Blind. Hey, don't expect a horror movie. Expect a good movie. Yeah, honestly. I don't know how. Like you don't don't necessarily replicate what he's doing. Yeah, don't but do re- that. Replicate just the fact that. One guy had a vision, and w- w- when he works with other people, he sort of created this art piece that, like, we got to see. Shit, I love this movie. Okay, finish off this only <laughs> the only movie review we're gonna do, or maybe we'll do another one soon. <laughs> Let's rate Parasite first. Um, easy, easy out of ten. One hundred. Hundred out of ten. Uh, no. Ten out of ten. This is an obvious ten out of ten. I don't like obvious ten out of ten. You, you don't do number. No. What, what do you want to do? Let's let's make a scale. Well, no, because like I think I don't like number movies. I want people to listen. This is a this is gonna be a stereotypical YouTube review. Everybody everybody just goes to the number, man. Nobody uh-huh. actually reads his review. But, yeah, that's true. But like because it's a stereotypical YouTube. Okay, review. okay. I give uh, Parasite. You don't have to do number. Like something out of something. Two thumbs up. <laughs> I give it a 100% Rotten Tomatoes. It's certified fresh. Uh, 10 out of 10 IMDb. What is that, there? And then Neil Breen. Anything Neil Breen makes, 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Ooh, for sure. I give for that I am here. For two sure. Thumbs up. Don't listen to these corrupt. Now, these corrupt. 12 out of 10. I am here. Now could be considered a horror. Oh yeah, because it's, so yeah, it's, so it's so bad. Because it's so horrific. It's so fucking bad. It's bad. That being said, it's damn bad. It's we'll, bad. See, we'll see what the hell we do next week. But I don't know. Yeah, we might not even be exist like, next week. I don't. Know. We might all be dead because Neil Brin killed us. He, we because because he is scheme. Cyber Jesus. We were. We finally revealed his he scheme, is. and now he's coming for us. How could you have done this? How could you have done this? <laughs> <laughs>